Welcome back. We're going to continue our discussion of consumerism, but now we're actually going to look at consumerism as a protective movement. I realize you probably couldn't see what I was pointing at. Consumerism as a protective movement or consumer protection. So, of course, in contemporary America, consumer protection is a major function of government. And the spending of the federal government on consumer protection, um, including consumer health and safety, has continued uh, to increase starting in around the 1960s. Again, going back to the business history and also the business and government discussions that we've had. The 60s and 70s were a time period where people began to expect the government to step in um, and take care of society because business had obviously failed to do so. So, as I mentioned, uh, the federal law sets a variety of uh, minimum standards. We talked about that um, during our business and government class. So the federal law sets a variety of minimum standards. However, states, counties, and cities frequently set additional protections uh, for consumers. So consumer protection laws can vary actually quite widely uh, depending on where you are doing business and where you are working as a manager. There are countless federal agencies um, that deal in some way or another with consumer affairs or consumer protection. Um, and they typically uh, range from very narrow lanes of responsibility when it comes to consumer protection to very wide uh, ranges of uh, consumer protection. Um, these agencies are almost immortal. Um, and they still are effective in con protecting consumers despite the fact that there are uh, changing administrations, budget shortfalls, and frequently there's not even enough staff uh, to make sure that the mandatory statutes are met. They nonetheless uh, serve a very important uh, role and they are somewhat effective in ensuring consumer protection. So one of the largest consumer protection agencies is the Food and Drug Administration, of course, we all know as the FDA. And they were established by Congress uh, through the Food and Drug Act of 1906. And they have a variety of different responsibilities. But generally, think, generally speaking, if you can, uh, if you or an animal ingests it, which includes all kinds of foods and medicines, the FDA probably has something to do with it. Remember it that way. If you ingest it, or if your animal uh, can ingest it, probably the FDA has something to do with that and regulates it in some way. Um, that includes, so I mentioned food. Of course, I mentioned uh, drugs. Uh, they, I guess they also do some limited work with uh, cosmetics. Um, they deal with tobacco products, uh, marketing, labeling, that kind of stuff. And then, of course, they also deal with... Uh, some of the things that, uh, involving microwave ovens, televisions, x-rays, you know, those kinds of uh, devices that emit radiation. You've also got the Consumer Product Safety Commission, the CPSC. Um, and again, that sets mandatory and also voluntary safety standards for about 15,000 uh, different consumer products. Um, they can work to ban the sale of products that expose consumers to unreasonable risk can be kind of difficult to uh, prove what is reasonable or unreasonable risk, but when it's deemed uh, by that agency as an unreasonable risk, uh, they can go ahead and ban that product. Uh, they can require manufacturers to recall dangerous products. That's huge, uh, making manufacturers responsible for when they make a mistake. And of course, they also investigate uh, deaths and injuries uh, that occur from consumer products. You've also got the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. NHTSA, basically anything that's on wheels and is moving, they regulate it. So uh, safety standards for automobiles, trucks, etc., uh, fuel economy standards uh, for cars and, and light trucks. Um, if a vehicle is defective, they can make a manufacturer recall that vehicle. Um, they administer grants for states and cities uh, for, to promote highway safety. Um, so they really have the most extensive a degree of control over kind of a single uh, product type. And of course, there's some other um, consumer protection agencies, the Federal Trade Commission, you know, looking at uh, interstate commerce, uh, the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, we've already talked about that. 
and Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. We're going to talk about that uh, in class when we talk about uh, diversity and equal opportunity. Okay, great. So this wraps up um, the second uh, video of uh, consumerism. So we've also looked at consumer protection. Now we're going to shift our lecture into product liability law.